Praise the Lord, my beloved ones. Today, our beautiful, most amazing Lord God Jesus Christ has come to bless us with another prophetic word. And the Lord God says that today he is going to connect you to your family, to your own. And I, in the name of Jesus, everything that is not from the Lord, I disconnect it. In the name of Jesus, I disconnect it. Every dream that is not from the Lord, I disconnect it. Everything, every relationship that is not from the Lord, every connection that is not from the Lord, I disconnect it. Every job, every business, every friend, every neighbor, every one who is around you, who is connected to you and is not from the Lord. Every vision that is not from the Lord, I disconnect. Every dream, every word that you have spoken and that is not from the Lord, I disconnect it. Every connection on earth and spiritually that you have, I disconnect it if it is not from the Lord. If it is not the Lord's will, if it is not God ordained, if it is not God given, I disconnect it so that you shall be set free. And now, since you are delivered, I connect you back to your loved ones, the people, the connection which is ordained by the Lord, your own family, your own people, your own belongings, your own friends, your own dreams, your own land, your own property, your own business, your own children, your own spouse. You cannot dream of marrying someone else spouse i disconnect if you are getting connected to someone else spouse i disconnect it and i connect you to your own husband to your own wife i bless you so that you will get connected to your own children to your own family members to your own grandparents to your own people to your own siblings to your own cousins to your own family members, to your own blood relationships, to your own spiritual relationships, to your own home, to your own car, not your neighbor's car, but your own car, not the one you have seen in her house, but the one the Lord wants to bless you with, not the thing, not the business that your friend is doing, but the business that the Lord God has planned for you. The one ordained for you, I connect you, I connect you, I connect you, receive the connection, receive the connection, I connect you. You are connected to your own, you are connected to your own family, to your own business, to your own dream, to your own goals, to your own visions. Your eyes will not dream the dreams of others, but the dreams, the goals, the visions, the Lord God has planned for you. So that according to Jeremiah 29 verse 11, you will receive according to the Lord's plan and purpose and only that will give you the expected end. Now with this, I disconnect you from the delays and stagnancy because you have been spending a lot of time with those glamorous people, with those shiny things which you were not meant to be. You were not meant to be. You never had to be with those things, those people. I disconnect you from your past. I disconnect you from all those people who came and ditched you, who left you like an orphan. I disconnect you from your soul ties. I disconnect you from all those relationships. They abused you and they left you to die. I disconnect you from their memories. No more crying for the past. I disconnect you from the past so that now you will have your own present and your own future. So you will be in your promised land this year in 2022. Be receptive. I disconnect you from the overburdened work that is not ordained for you. So you are doing something, the work which is not ordained for you. You are doing some ministry which is not 
according to your calling so i disconnect you from that and now i connect you to your own calling i connect you to your own ministry so that you will serve the lord truly under the submission of the holy spirit under the submission of the holy spirit i connect you to the holy spirit be connected to the holy spirit to the lord's plan and purpose so that the lord will give you your own in the ministry your own sons and daughters your own spiritual father your own spiritual mother your own spiritual fellowship your own spiritual relationships your own spiritual sons and daughters your own spiritual breath rain i disconnect you from all those friends who said that they are your friends they borrowed money from you and they left you they didn't help you at the time of need i disconnect you from the devourer i disconnect you from the devourer and now i connect you to those people who will be your destiny helpers i connect you to the destiny helpers i connect you to those people who have been the lord's people in your life this is the reason why i say you are my people you are my people you are my people because you are the lord's people you are my own because you are the lord's own and whoever are the lords they are mine so let your heart be connected to that of mine let you receive of the spirit of the living god let this love flow from me to you let the love of god come from me to you receive the love of god the love of god receive it and i receive you i receive your love i receive you as the children of god and because of this love connection one of my spiritual daughter after she has sown her first fruits she has blessed me amazingly that i received the emotional touch after reading her message she has written a prophet's reward i honor you and your labor for the lord and his people this is a gift of gratitude and humbleness for your servitude in the kingdom of god may this gift bless you and put a glorious smile on your face thank you for all you have done dear mother grace be blessed in the name of jesus amen the love connection so receive the love connection today the lord is going to connect you to your own the love connection the truly love connection the true connection your true people your true business your true job your true home where you will not be harassed but you will have peace no more staying in hotels today i disconnect you from those harassing places the place where you are forced to stay in the hotels i disconnect you from that force let your circumstances be changed now i connect you to your own home i connect you to your own blessings to your own loved ones these days i am praying zealously for my sons and daughters to get connected to me in spirit and i am receiving i'm getting connected to my own sons and daughters my family is you i always said this you are my family you are god's people you are my people and when i pray the lord is connecting me to my people my sons and daughters who are god's sons and daughters who are under the submission of the holy spirit and there is one comment a testimony of the same last december 2021 i was praying to god that i need prophet who can pray for me guide me and i can serve the god through my tithes after few days god displayed your youtube video in front of my eyes she prayed and after few days god answered her prayers this is how god answered and i'm glad that i found you thank you mother grace happy to be connected with you your prayers must be genuine your prayers must be to serve the lord your prayers must be for this love connection this spiritual connection and let the love of god also flow through your blood relationship so that they shall also remain connected under the anointing under the holy spirit under the submission of the holy spirit we have one more testimony 
of the anointing, the Holy Spirit manifesting. Your prayers and declarations are so powerful, my spiritual prophetess, that I was overflowing with uncontrollable tongues. Thank you, my good Lord. I rebuke poverty and declare prosperity in Jesus' almighty name. When you receive, when you are receptive, when you get connected, the Holy Spirit will manifest in all the areas of your life. All that you have to do is to get connected. According to the YouTube terms and conditions, YouTube has made it mandatory to place their own ads. The ads that you see on my YouTube channel, I have not placed them. I never had an intention to earn from my YouTube channel because it's a church for me. It's not a business place for me. It's an honorable, anointed place for me. However, the advertisements that you are seeing on YouTube channel, some people are watching those advertisements by force, thinking that I will receive the funds. I am not receiving the funds. It is all going to YouTube because those ads are made mandatory. And there is information on Forbes. It is written, YouTube just changed its rules on video monetization and YouTube creators aren't happy. Essentially, Google will now show ads on all videos, even if their creators don't want ads and creators won't get a penny. It's all in a new section of YouTube's terms and service called right to monetize. Do not force yourself to watch those ads. I'm not earning anything from YouTube. I came to Jesus after leaving my highest paying job, my own business. I left everything for the Lord and then I'm serving the Lord with empty hands. So my intention is not to earn the Holy Spirit wanted me to testify about the power of the living God in our ministry and I want to read this testimony out to you so that you shall also be blessed. God bless your ministry. I have definitely been encouraged and experienced a miracle since following your YouTube channel. I had a hard time walking or running outside where it made me feel dizzy. But after watching your video about getting a miracle in 24 hours, I no longer had that problem and I didn't notice it for a couple of days. But when I did praise the Lord, now I can run with endurance. So the miracles are happening. You need that miracle and it is happening. All that you have to do is to remain connected. And this testimony is going to bless someone. That's why the Lord said, read it out so that... God's glory will manifest in your life also if you are not able to walk, if you are experiencing fatigue, if you are tired because of sickness. Let the Holy Spirit touch you right now so that you shall also rise up and run and walk. You are delivered in the name of Jesus. The Lord God is saying that your ancestral sins are forgiven now and you are connected to the Holy Spirit. So rejoice. You will have peace and you will be very happy with this connection. I saw, I saw someone getting connected to my spiritual womb, in my spirit. I saw you getting connected because you're praying for the same. And I saw you getting connected. And this is genuine connection, the connection of love through our Lord God, Jesus Christ. And you will see me loving you. You will feel that Mother Grace is loving me wherever you are, no matter how you look like. I always say this, there is no barrier. Language is no barrier, distance is no barrier, country is no barrier, color is no barrier, no barrier at all. Even if you are not able to sow the seed, that love never fails. My love is not based on how much you are sowing, whether you are sowing or not. The love is based on heart. But for my spiritual daughter who has sown her first fruits, I want to read a word for her so that the Lord God will bless her amazingly, seeing that she has emptied all her bank accounts to sow her first fruits to honor the living God because she understands the love of God. Everything that she had in her account, she emptied to sow these first fruits. And not only this, but she thanked me and she blessed me. So it was too much for me, too much of love from my spiritual daughter. So this verse, the Lord said, read it out for her. And I know as soon as she receives this word, she will be in tears because she's so humble. I know 
how she is out of little extremely little she has emptied her everything and in spirit i can see her i have not met her personally i don't know her personally but i have never seen her all that you can do is you can see me but for all those who are emptying your accounts you are giving your best to the lord the best out of your little you are giving the best to the lord for all you my dear sons and daughters i can feel you in my heart and this the lord is saying this for you out of from the depth of my heart out of the love the god's love when i see your love for the lord i feel blessed it is written in mark 12:41 jesus sat down opposite the place where the offerings were put and watched the crowd putting their money into the temple treasury many rich people threw in large amounts but a poor widow came and put in two very small copper coins worth only a few cents calling his disciples to him jesus said truly i tell you this poor widow has put more into the treasury than all the others they all gave out of their wealth but she out of her poverty put in everything all she had to live on hallelujah and i was surprised i asked her about how did she sow the first fruits because i know she is a single mother i asked her and i was really surprised about how she arranged the money i was shocked that is god's miracle the miracle of god is within you you don't have to search it anywhere else it's within you and i'm sure the lord god is going to bless us all those who are sowing their first fruits to honor and glorify our lord god jesus christ in the little even when we are poor even when we have nothing to give we have everything to give that is because the power of the holy spirit is within us that's why we can do whatever we can do we can do it because of the power of the holy spirit my beloved ones the way i am getting connected to the love of god today i bless you in such a way that you will also get connected to the love of god you will get connected to your family you will get connected to your own and the videos they are not the barrier i have a testimony for the same it appears that you have a new camera or if you don't your video came through very bright and crisp this morning it was like your hands were coming right through the screen hallelujah so today if you are receptive i bless you so that the way she has received the lay hand of prayers today let my hand reach you through the screen and touch your head so that i can anoint you so that you will find your own you will receive your own as i am touching you you know i am tapping your head i am touching your head you are being anointed i am touching you receive it receive the touch receive the touch receive the touch receive it you will meet your own your own husband your own wife your own people your own business your own job your own dreams your own home your own land your deliverance your own freedom your own breakthrough right now your own breakthrough right now your own breakthrough right now receive it your own power in the name of jesus your own impartation receive it what is meant for you what is ordained for you receive it right now receive it receive it and be filled be full in the mighty name of jesus be full receive it be full receive it receive it receive it you can also touch the screen as i am touching the screen you can also touch the screen hallelujah so that there shall be connection there shall be connection and you can also come back with your first fruits offering first fruits offering a very powerful and honorable offerings everyone must sow their first fruits everyone in bible has been sowing their first fruits Cain and Abel were asked to sow their first fruits. The word of God says that you must honor the Lord God with your first fruits. The first fruit of everything, the first fruit of your wealth, the first fruit of your prayers, the first fruit of your praises, the first fruit of your ministry, the first fruit of your job, the first fruit of your business, the first fruit of your relationship. Everything. 
you must offer it to the Lord. Hallelujah. Today's message is more powerful, more powerful, more powerful. You are receiving more power. You are receiving more power. Receive more power. Receive more power. Receive more power. Receive it. You shall come back with the testimony. You are coming back with the testimony. And you know that. You know that you're coming back with the testimony. So today, I connect you to your own, your own family, your own blessings, your own dreams, your own visions, your own property, your own blessings. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. We thank all those who are honoring the Lord with their wealth and for all the offerings. We bless you with a hundredfold of return. My beloved ones, if you have not yet received our Lord God Jesus Christ, if you have not yet received the Holy Spirit, we shall pray a small prayer because this repentance is at hand. Our Father in heaven, we come into your presence to our Lord Jesus Christ. And today we receive salvation. We receive Holy Spirit into our heart. Oh Lord, forgive us our sins and help us to be born again. We shall seek you, O Lord Jesus Christ, unto Zion. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. My beloved ones, with this small prayer of repentance, your sins are forgiven and you have received Holy Spirit within you, you shall walk the walk of righteousness.